Welcome to the next entry in a Fex for Life series highlighting the top five RPGs for the upcoming month. In this edition, we're going to take a look at what we think are the top five RPGs of October 2017, talk a little about each, and why we think they belong on the list. Hop in and discover some new games you haven't heard of, or learn a little more about ones you have. Just like last month, the first game on our list is controversial because many players don't consider it an RPG. Destiny 2 is launching on PC this October 24th, which should be interesting to say the least. Bungie has not made a game on PC since the porting of Halo 2 on Xbox back in 2007, making it nearly 10 years to the date. Most Halo players I know were disappointed in the PC ports of the games, myself included, so it will be intriguing to see how this version of the game will perform. P.S. Bungie, please make another Myth the Fallen Lords game. Please. Honorable mention, Destiny 2. With better industry reviews than Destiny 1 by a good margin, yet worse user reviews, it's hard to say if Destiny 2 is actually better than its precursor or not. While we spent a decent amount of time with the beta and have played the live version, it's hard to get an overall impression of the game without more time with it. From the brief amount of time we played, the story and writing seem much, much better than the first game. However, everything else seemed very similar or samey, and it feels more like Destiny 1.5 than Destiny 2. Time will tell how this title will perform on PC and whether Bungie can make it as good as the console version. Number 5, South Park The Fractured But Whole. This sequel to South Park The Stick of Truth is an RPG based on the infamous South Park series coming to PS4, Xbox One, and PC on October 17th. Players will get to choose from 12 superhero classes including my personal favorite, Karate Kid. The sequel takes place after the events of the first game in the fictional Colorado town of South Park as the boys take on the role of fictional superheroes fighting a civil war between the game's characters. And, as in the first game, the player will control the new kid, this time with the option to choose between genders and races, which changes the way NPCs in the game respond to you and what rewards you receive. Number 4. Etrian Odyssey 5 Beyond the Myth Etrian Odyssey is a dungeon crawler RPG series that has been running for over 10 years and is reminiscent of games of the past, giving players that nostalgic vibe of something like Elder Scrolls, the original I mean, or games like Eye of the Beholder or Might and Magic. Among the addictive elements of the title are the many races, classes, and character customization options presented to players. Etrian Odyssey 5 Beyond the Myth for Nintendo 3DS was originally released in Japan in August of last year, but will be releasing in North America on October 17th. Number 3. Elix. Elix is an action RPG from Piranha Bytes and THQ Nordic, creators of the popular Gothic series, coming to PC, Xbox One, and PS4 on October 17th. In Elix, players take on the role of a survivor in the post-apocalyptic world of Magalon, where a meteor has all but wiped everyone out. Factions here fight over the resource known as Elix that grants powers otherwise not possible for humans. You can set out with companions from these factions. These companions have their own relationships with you that can develop for better or worse. If you do enough that turns them off, they may abandon you. Turn them on? Romance is certainly in the cards. Elix features a unique mix of fantasy and sci-fi as players can mix technology with traditional fantasy-like weapons and armor. The game is fully open world without load screens and without pausing, with menus that appear fluidly in-game creating a very locked-in feeling. The world is beautifully designed with several different biomes, all tinged by the unique nature of the factions. The map is massive and populated with towns and cities, all of which are full of NPCs, and you get around on foot and via jetpack, exploring the verticality of the world. Choices are definite and permanent, and this adds replayability based on the faction you choose and the decisions you make during quests. You can kill almost anyone and the game reacts, adjusting quest objectives but not canceling them. Number 2. Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen will be coming to PS4 and Xbox One on October 3rd, featuring all original content as well as 4K resolution on PS4 Pro and Xbox One X. The Xbox version of Dragon's Dogma will be the very first playable on a Microsoft console since the game's creation five years ago. Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen features dynamic combat, where players can cut off the four heads of a Hydra, climb atop griffins and fight airborne, or defeat dragons and other creatures by exploiting their weaknesses. Players can choose from nine different vocations with a variety of skill options for each, armor that can be upgraded and enhanced, plus pawn companions that can be trained to fit your desired combat style. 
Much like Dark Souls, the game is punishingly difficult, and I invite those who don't believe me to check out our live streams of my gameplay where I had a near psychological breakdown and started killing NPCs in mass out of sheer frustration. Good times. Number 1. Middle Earth Shadow of War Developed by Monolith Productions and published by Warner Brothers Interactive, Middle Earth Shadow of War is the sequel to the critically acclaimed Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. The game will be releasing on PS4, Xbox One, and PC on October 10th, with a companion Android iOS top-down free-to-play version also to be included with purchase. Players will once again take on the role of Talion, the spirit of the elf lord Selim Brimber, who shares Talion's body as they take on the forces of Sauron while raising their own army. Shadow of War picks up where the last game leaves off, and it is rumored that there is a secret ending players can unlock if certain criteria within the game is met, linking the story to that of Lord of the Rings. Besides the record amount of trailers released for this game, there has been some controversy surrounding this title that might turn players off from purchase. The first of these is microtransactions, whereby the player can purchase in-game weapons and armor as well as followers and XP boosts. Warner Brothers has been very clear that players can obtain all of these things naturally by playing the game, and that no content will be gated behind a paywall. Secondly, there was a situation with the Forthog Orc Slayer DLC, which was a special DLC released to honor executive producer Michael Forthog Forgy, who passed away last year from a rare form of brain cancer. There was some confusion from fans as Warner Brothers didn't clearly state where the proceeds from this charity DLC would be going, sparking some outrage, and eventually it was released as a free DLC to all players. That's a wrap for the top RPGs of October. Thoughts on the list? What are you looking forward to? Let us know in the comments below.